Hey guys, we're here on Saturday night at the Las Vegas Strip and we're asking people their favorite Vegas memory, what they're most excited for about this weekend, and their predictions for tomorrow's LSU versus USC football game. I'm here with... I'm Sam. I'm Peyton. And where are you guys from? I'm from Lafayette, but I go to LSU. Go Tigers. Same here. Okay, so... Y'all are from Lafayette. It's your first time in Vegas, as y'all told me before we started. What is the goal for this weekend? To have a good time, get to uh, spend some quality time with my buddy Peyton, and win some money, but I haven't yet, so I'm pretty upset. We lost a few guys to the draft, Malik, Brian Thomas. How do you feel about that new receiver core? If I'm being honest, I know we got uh, Kyron Lacey, but other than that, I'm excited to see the team. I've been hearing a bunch of good things about them, so. Yeah. That's why I'm excited for the game. You know, I get to see the new team and everything, so. Yeah. Hey, guys. I have my first USC fan of the night. I'm here with? Garrett. Yeah. Garrett, what year are you? I'm a senior. OK, so your friends told me a second ago to watch out for you. You get a little yeah. crazy? I get a little crazy. OK, so tell me your craziest Las Vegas story. Um. <laughs> Uh, when I was like, when I was like 19, I was gambling with my brother's ID, like really illegally. Um, <laughs> I went to like clubs illegally. Some like Navy SEAL guy like was really pressing me one time and he knew I was like just a youngin and he like really didn't want to let me in the club. And then he ended up doing it and then I blacked out and I was only 19. Okay. In the club. Okay, well, back to some more legal stuff. Let's talk football a little bit. I love USC, y'all have a new quarterback. LSU has a new quarterback. Yeah. Who do you think is going to make up or for that Heisman expectation? So, Miller Moss, I used to really, really like him. But then I was on the pickleball courts at USC one time, and he was really rude and kind of like kicked us off the courts. <laughs> so, what I'm hearing is we have a Garrett Nussmeyer fan lost, in the house. People. I lost a lot of respect for that guy. But honestly, the kid could play football. Okay. I will give my roses to, to Miller Moss. I think he's a great player. Okay. Um, honestly, he, he, I respect how he's been putting in the work for years, and now he finally got that starting job. So let's see if he's got the fire under his belly, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, guys, we're in Vegas, and, you know, Vegas, they call it Sin City. They call it the fight capital of the world. What's your craziest Vegas story? Um, personally, I moved out here like about uh, a year and a half, two years ago. And, uh, you know, it's a lot of stuff you see crazy on the strip. You know, you see people out here, you know, off all the different stuff that you see and you hear about Vegas. But, you know, I'm driving maybe about six months ago and I see this lady in the middle of the street and she pulls her pants down. And from there, she begins to, you know, let her stuff out her system so i ride past and i look at her and i'm like oh my god like you doing this and she looked me in my eyes and she picked it up with her hand and then she threw it back on the ground first night in vegas i brought 1600 i went broke right sugar daddy hits me up Well, as you guys can see, crazy things do indeed happen in Las Vegas. But as for Sunday's matchup, fans from all across the country and the world are very excited for what tomorrow has in store. For Tiger TV, I'm Jada Ferris.